Hey guys, so I'm back with another video because I wanted to kind of address some of the questions and do a little bit more of an in-depth overview on this to kind of just do a little bit better of a job explaining everything. Um, I know one of the questions was, why is my reshade file empty? Why is there no input area? Why is there no options? So I didn't think about this before because I had already been playing the game and my file was already created, but if you've just installed reshade, you're going to need to run the game once and let reshade kind of install itself finish installing itself i should say and then once you do that you can go ahead and close the game you're going to come back to that file and then it's going to end up looking like it should with the input section and your ability to um change that key okay so now after you've started the game the file will change and add in all of these things now the section we want to look for is under input and then it's going to be the key overlay and it's only going to be this first number that we're going to need to change. Now these are kind of a computer language thing. It's how the computer interprets each keyboard key in a value. Um, 36 equals the home key which is the default, um, what do you want to call it, um, starting key that makes the menu pop up in game um, so we're gonna want to change that to whatever you want to use I currently use the 8 key up on the top row I don't know why I just chose that one because it works easier for me and then I'm gonna link this website below but I'm also going to show you guys what website I use to look for how I kind of came up with the key codes Okay, so here's the full website, and I'll link it down below as well. But see how I have the 36 highlighted here that's showing the home key? And actually, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So there's a full list of all of the codes here, so you can change it to literally whatever key you want. I would check your game's settings if you're using keyboard and mouse, and make sure you're not mapping it to some key that you're going to need in the game. Try to just find one that isn't used at all. So as you can see down here, I'm using 8, so that would be 56. Um, yeah, here you'll just find the key you want to use, enter it into, like I said, that first number of the four, don't change the other zeros, and that should change your overlay key. If you have more questions, go ahead and comment below, and I will do my best to reply to all of them and address them. Thank you for the views on that last video, which is crazy to me. I know it's only 13k, but making a under one minute video and getting that many views just blew my mind. So again, thanks for watching.